Okay, immediate apologies for this uh, video being shaky. I am shooting this using an iPhone and hell is much coffee this morning and not to mention I'm very excited. So I'm running um, the RPI RGB LED matrix library on a Raspberry Pi 4. And one of the limitations with the Raspberry Pi 3 is the memory uh, speed restrictions, right? So the Raspberry Pi 4 is supposed to help um, deal with that. And um, the Raspberry Pi 3 couldn't really push as many pixels uh, as I was hoping for the project that I'm working on. However, uh, testing with a Pi 4, and we know this is a Pi 4 because I have dual mini HDMI and the USB-C, and if we see all the way at the top, let's see. There's my little plug thing from uh, a kit that I bought. So anyway, so I have the uh, passive CPU cooler right now. Uh, it's not powered. I also have the Pi with a riser so that the CPU cooler can have uh, enough space to run some air. And then I have the Electro Dragon um, Raspberry Pi RGB matrix pusher panel, whatever the hell they call it. And um, what I'm doing is I'm driving and oh God, it's gonna look very jittery because of the frame rates difference. Um, but what we're seeing is uh, a pretty good response from one of the demos. And uh, this is running right now at 70 to 75 frames per second. So I am driving 10 64 by 64 RGB matrices. And uh, if your eyes are keen, you might notice that this panel, this panel, and this panel are all different sizes. Uh, yeah, they're 160 millimeter by 160 millimeter versus 192. Uh, P2.5 and this is P3, but they all run on the same protocol, which is Hub 75. But I am very pleased that the Pi can drive this many displays um, using uh, LED PWM bits 9. Um, so if I zoom out just a little bit, I'm using uh, the demo with hyphen capital D9, 64 rows, 64 columns, two parallel. Um, like I said, LED PWM bits 9. I did have to slow down the GPU. Um, thank you to Henan for helping me understand how to do that. Um, five to change, so that's 10 total displays. And then I'm using LED show refresh, which is giving us this nice 60, excuse me, 70 to 75 hertz. So I'm looking forward to taking this example and uh, using it with our RGB screen and seeing how well this works, because this could reduce our, our complexity quite a bit. Thanks for watching.